What's up everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be changing the cabin air filter on my 2022 Kia K5. <laughs> Alright guys we got another quick DIY for you. We're going to do a cabin air filter for my 2022 Kia K5. This is an OEM filter that I purchased directly at the Kia dealer. And with California taxes, it was $31.92. Alright, so the cabin filter for the 2022 and 2021 K5 is behind this glove box right here. First thing we need to do is we have this latch right here that holds the glove box intact. So what we do is just we basically stick our finger behind and pull it out like so. So our next step to get this glove box all the way completely down is you have something holding in from both sides. So all you have to do, similar to what I did with the Jeep, is just push in from both sides like so. And push in here and it comes down. And you got a couple, four hinges over here that holds it this way. Even if it comes off, not a big deal. And everything we're doing now, you're basically gonna do same way backwards to put everything back together. So right behind here is where you have your filter located. It's pretty simple. There's a hinge on the left and right here you just need to basically squeeze down these two little things and very simple like so, this comes back down. And right there we have our filter. Always remember when you're going to be putting things back together, look at where the arrow points down. So make sure when you put the new filter back in, arrow going down. Alright so I just want to show you guys a side by side of what a filter looks like with approximately 20,000 miles on it. This right here, if you guys can notice both sides, is the old filter. We have all different types of stuff and you're breathing this air and like I always mention all my DIY videos with air filters and this is a brand new filter. So let's put them side by side. Again I don't know if camera is doing justice but just take a look at that. This is horrible. Uh, if you can it's a DIY project and you like doing it try to switch these up every like 10 to 15 thousand miles because you could get an aftermarket one which is not going to be as expensive uh, for a lot of stuff that I use in my videos I'll link them in the description below now like I said pretty easy once you already know where it's at everything else backwards one clip here one clip there put everything back intact and you're good to go clean up the glove box keep your car clean and that's that. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.